what's up, it's Mikey here, and I'm bringing you some ELC AMX replays. Well, probably one replay. I just bought this tank. I absolutely love this tank. It's the beast tank. I mean, it's got a really nice gun, like, quite a good penetration. 250 damage, if I am corrected. Or something like that. Really good damage gun for a scout as well. It's a scout tank. Has no armor, but, you know, to be expected. It's French. And really fast tank, so what I'm doing here, I'm just coming up into a scouting bush. I'm not a very good scout at all, really. It's like my eighth game in this tank, so <laughs> I, I, I'm not the best at playing it. So I kind of stop here and think, mm, should I stay behind these bushes? No, I just move forward. Uh, I kind of don't know all the scouting spots because it's the first scout tank that I've ever played. I think I got spotted by that leopard, but I just wait here. The BDR doesn't shoot me, but then the A I see the A20 is looking at me, shoot, shoots me. I take another shot. Now I've got to get moving. This is a good thing about this tank, it can really speed up fast. And then everyone just misses. And what I'm doing here, I'm spotting for all those guys up on the hill. They can shoot down and all those tanks. You see their stugs down? And everything like that. And the BDR's gonna go down too. You see? <laughs> How many shots came in there? Yeah. So this tank's a really, really nice tank. When you want to kind of fly it here, in this kind of a game, you really want to do damage to the enemy as well. Also, you want to scout it map. That's what type of map you want. Oh, on this map, I'm kind of scouting, but I, I can do damage. So it's really quite good. I'm asking for some people to push up and help me, but yeah, they're just going to be camping losers. I just hope he misses. You can avoid a lot of fire in this tank because it's so small. It's the smallest tank in the game. Smaller than the T50. The T50-2. So, so it is really hard to hit. And what you can do with the, some of the bigger tanks, you can just basically the heavies, you can drive up beside them, yeah, and they can't, the, their depression isn't big enough, so they can't shoot down at you. So you can just shoot them all day long, and they can't shoot down at you, because you're so, such a low profile. So yeah, I just trapped myself there, being a bit of an idiot. I was thinking about coming around this way, but then, yeah, thinking about coming th this way, going to help them out, but then I saw before that the church was backing off to come around to help the other flank, so I thought I'll go for it. Anyway, I want to get some damage in. But basically, this is how you play scout tank. It's not the best replay, but I've only had like 30 games in this tank. I have had better, but some of the replays got corrupted for some reason. Uh, I, I don't know how. And, um, yeah. So I think that see those guys over there, I, I don't want to go down there, so I'm just going to relocate. Checking if anything's up there. Something is calling me. Close window. Oh my god. <laughs> my computer just spazzes out. It does. There we go. No, I don't want a Java. Oh, guys. So sorry about that. That was just my Java saying you must update. Go away. There we go. So I see this. M8. A1, Chinese, I think, uh, I'm not too sure, oh no, I think it's American. Come up, do a bit of jousting, that's what you call jousting, when you come up, you fire and then you just zoom out, straight away, see if I can get a kill, uh, and I ram him for some reason, but you know. And then, and then I started thinking, wh wh where are the um, other two? And I kind of either guess they'd be either behind this hill, 
if we look around up here, they, they would have come up here and around here and down to here. And that's where they were. So I c came up, looked around this hill, and then just... Oh, I wasn't going to scout anymore, so I was just going to turn back and go for the cap. Get some capture points. And you see there they are, over there, so not a good game, not a bad game, you can get so much more damage in this game, like, well, I could have done a lot more, but I did do so much scouting damage, I got 1000 damage upon detecting, so that is pretty good in this tank, uh, really nice um, damage and everything like that. So yeah, this tank, if you're wondering whether to buy it or not, you must buy it. It's like the beast of all tanks. Just really good. So I haven't got the end plates for this one, but I'll bring you another hey replay guys, soon. It's Mikey here. I'm bringing you my second replay. This is in my jumbo. Um, there are two tanks. That's the Easy Eight and the Easy Two jumbo. I, I want the Easy Two because yeah, okay, it's a tiny bit slower, but it has armor. It has like 100 millimeters of the front. I think slope back. It's effective to like 150 even more so it has really really nice armor you get tons of bounces as you will see really really nice armor there the turret's quite good as well yeah, and, and the gun it's the accuracy isn't great and the, the dpm's good just haven't got enough alpha damage i find but i haven't had been this is like my first best game which i've actually got more than a thousand damage in this game i think and yeah, it's a really, really nice tank. I'm just stopping here, looking down there. Normally tanks. Here's where the enemy team did make a car tiny bit of a mistake. They didn't really send many people down here. They, send, they only sent those two, three people. As you can see here, you just got to wait for the aiming time. And they will just keep bouncing off you all day. And you need to learn how to angle your armor too, a bit more. On the move short, which is pretty good. And then I just finished this guy off. So you can see the reload really does help. Took that guy and then I see him over there. And then he came forward for some reason, so okay, I'll take you out. So as you can see, it's very fast firing gun. And he just the T thirty four eighty five just keeps bouncing. Just kept back keep bouncing off me. And then here's where I go for the cupola. Damaging my gun, but he, he just still can't get through. He's even shooting at my cupola, but you know can't do that. So I've already nine hundred and forty seven damage. Pretty good. Now I'm just going to push on and roll up the flank. So really, in a an experienced player can really do quite a bit with this tank. Just uh, I never can get myself into the situation sometimes in which this tank works best. So it's not really a sniper at all. Some good aim on our part on our team. Like that wasn't me that finished him off. Looked like it would have hit, but you know. The the guns um uh, <laughs> the words just going out of my head. The guns uh, da, 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 um, penetration isn't brilliant, you know, you can't penetrate stuff. It's a kind of a brawling tank really. So that's the armor. As you can see. I did hit him there though. That was pretty good. I don't know what this T1 Heavy is doing. Looks like a bit of a noob. Let's just take him out. And more damage for us. Uh, his lucky shot. Aiming for the cupola but went straight through his turret. Try to get another shot there. I think that one bounces. That one bounces too. It hit the gun mantle. But here I come down. And still bounce. Strange, but, you know. 
and bounce again is a kind of got a bit frustrated there. Like off the side bounce just wasn't really angled that well. But you know, 1,400 damage, pretty good. Not bad. And now we've just got to go save the cat. So for all this tank is quite nice and. You're going to have more fun in this tank rather than the EZ-8. The EZ-8 is faster. They, they both have the same gun and everything. This EZ-8 has no armor. And, you know, uh, I kind of just like the idea of having some armor. So, I, I would, if you're choosing which one to go for, go for the Jumbo. Because from the Jumbo, you can also go down the American Heavy line. So you can skip the, um, the M6 and the T1 Heavy, which are the pretty rubbish. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do first and then go down the American medium line. The patterns at the end are really, really good. We're all just closing in on these guys. I have no chance. I'm hoping I can get some damage on people to stop taking a shot. This gun is not very accurate, but you, still, you have a lot of ammo. So... Yeah, so I just start to move up. I want to get a tiny bit more damage in. I'm going to KV-1 us there. 600 health. See if I can get a shot into him. Stop and aim a tiny bit. There we go. Get another shot into him. And I can't really kill him. The Hellcat destroys him. Uh, yep, yeah, game, not bad. Uh, 1700 damage. Quite good. I'm, I think I've got a tiny bit of spotting damage as well. So yeah, really nice game. Good tank if you want to buy it. Um, probably go for the easy 2 rather than the jump. No, rather than the easy eight and yeah i'll see you all guys later